Yeah. Hopefully Hydra can show off a little bit more of his skill than he could in the last match. Okay, so apparently these guys played in D2, so this is a rematch. And just like that, that's a gimp. So, first knock goes to Hydra. All right, gets out of that with some nice smash DI. Like okay, so I'm, I'm just finding out now that both of these players were actually from D2 in the same pool. Not sure why Hydra ended up in D2, or D-Boss for that matter, but... So I'm learning right now the only reason that both of these players made it, well not the, sorry, the reason that they uh, they made it in um, without having to play their um, top 12 match uh, is because both uh, both players ended up getting in on DQs. CTG and uh, Hiropai both had to DQ themselves for various reasons, so they both got into top 8 because of those. So they're both kind of riding the same train here, and now it's just them duking it out for fifth place. All right, Hydra using that dash attack to almost bait D-Boss into trying to punish him, and then punishes him right back. That up beat probably, oh, wow, it killed, okay. So that's one stock for D-Boss, but he used his double jump, and that's not gonna help. Okay, so Hydra up two stocks to uh, three stocks to one. Two stocks total. And using that fireball pressure to keep him in shield. Wow, up he's the opposite way though. Gets almost gets back. And finally does. Gets back to ledge. Unfortunately attacking on quite a bit of percent in the process. And that's his double jump. Alright. Game one goes to Hydra pretty, pretty easily. Pretty dominant showing from Hydra here. Let's see if D-Boss can make a change here. I don't know if he's going to switch characters, but he's looking like he might. He's considering it. And he is. He's switching to Kirby. I haven't really seen his Kirby in tournament very much, but... I'm sure it's not terrible, and I'm sure he thinks that it has a better chance of winning than his Falcon does right now. Otherwise, why would he pick it? Okay, Hydra, knowing that he couldn't get the up tilt out in time, approaches with down air. And D-Boss running out of jumps, but he gets back. Hydra throwing out that down smash just a hair too early. Great Sky Kirby at work here. Oh, misses the punish on that. Not sure what he was going for there. Forward Smash would have done wonders. Okay, nice back here. Another good one. Ooh, this is the first grab. It gets the second one. Oh, nice reverse edge guard attempt. Just gonna barely miss that back air to kill, but that forward air will do it. Forward throw. And now I'm finally not alone anymore. I have my good friend Jimmy Joe here. Hey there. How's it going? It's going well. That's awesome. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling great. I took a nap. It's been a hell of a weekend, so uh, awesome. Awesome. yeah. Awesome. Excited to be to be on uh, on the mic with you. Awesome. So how do you feel about these two players in this fifth place tiebreaker match? So honestly, I'm not too familiar with uh, D-Boss, but apparently he's been making waves at this tournament, so. Absolutely. D-Boss is actually a relatively new player from Chicago. 
doesn't even really go to his own uh, scenes tournaments that much. That's but very when, interesting. Yeah, but when he does. So, uh, game one already happened. Uh, Hydra took the first game. It was Mario versus uh, D Boss's Falcon, which has been his main character throughout the weekend. The only character switch that I've seen him make before now has been uh, Samus against Jaime for Samus Dittos. Interesting. Yeah. But he just went Kirby, which is doing quite a bit better, but I've never actually seen his Kirby, so it's kind of interesting. Wow. wow, great. You know, he almost was pretty perfect on that recovery distance-wise from the stage. That was actually really nice and great down tilt. That disjointed hitbox of Mario's foot. That was I'm pretty good survival DI, too, on that, for uh, D-Boss, on that last recovery attempt. Oof. Pushes him off with the first hit, and kills him with the second hit of down here. Nice. I love that fireball pressure. I'm learning so many new things about Mario just from watching Hydra this weekend. Yeah. Hydra and his brother, Kimi Mario, of course, really, really good plumbers. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Ooh. Oh, that's his double jump, but doesn't matter. Ooh, not enough pressure, not enough shield stun to uh, get the grab off of that. Yeah, a really good shield grab from uh, Hydra. Ooh, <laughs> roll jab. <laughs> oh, the spacing there was very nice. Amazing patience from Hydra. I love the fireball pressure. Ooh, runs right under it. Oh. Gets the wrong read on the tech. Okay. Another weak back air. Oh. Ooh, down tilt. That down tilt was... Mario was at Kirby's head. <laughs> or, you know, I guess if he has a head. But he was near the top of Kirby and that down tilt still hits. Crazy hitbox on that thing. I like the ledge cancel. He was kind of reading him drop through the platform, maybe back air. Smart. Oh, nice back air. Just eats right through that fireball. And that one eats right through Mario's stock. D-Boss with a chance to make it one game apiece. Nice grab ledge there. Uh-oh. Nice DI. Yeah. Oh, great read on that tech in place. I don't know. If he had tech back, would he have survived? I can't remember Mario's exact positioning, but I think, I think he, like he would slightly have. Slightly to the right of center. If he would have teched back, Hydra would have had enough time to turn around and up smash. I think he was facing toward uh, center stage, though, so he probably would have just. So, oh, if, if he teched back towards center stage, you're saying? Center stage, yeah. He would have also gotten hit by that up smash, I think. Oh. And I, um, I, think he, I think Hydra could have covered any tech option there. You're probably right. Really good showing from uh, D-Boss in the second game, though. Definitely showing signs of life. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Great DI again. Ooh. That DI put him out of range of that down smash. Oh. <laughs> uh, and one of the simplest things. Yep. Does the, does the most damage. Kills the most people. Interesting that he opts for that down air right there. Yeah, it almost seems like he'd be smarter to just go for the damage, maybe throw him off stage instead of an edge guarding situation. Yeah, I mean, the down air typically can it can lead to other things. But maybe not you know, on the up. You know, when he's jumping up and then down air. Yeah, you're kind of pretty far away from a tech chase when you're Kirby in that position. Oh, and Hydra goes for that F smash. Love to see Mario's throw that out. Feels so good to hit neutral. It's almost like... One of those things that just makes your opponent feel. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. It can be sort of like a taunt almost. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's going to do it for a second stock. Hydra definitely showing a lot, uh, a lot more dominance in this game. Yeah, he's really controlling the flow. Okay. I believe that was his double jump. I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, right. There it is. It's a good trade there for D Boss.
Mario's saying, nope, you're not gonna get above me. Had something started there. It's great to watch a uh, high level Mario player and you see like how you can really base your whole Mario game around those fireballs and, and control the the space, you know? Absolutely. The strategic placing of those fireballs is really what's helping Hydra out in this game. You can really set some lanes for where your opponent can kind of move and where you can move. This tech read earlier from, uh, from D Boss there. Good recoveries all around from Hydra. Oh, great down air to wow. make sure that he's able to recover Not safely. Ledge. I'm surprised he got hit. Oh. oh. I'm surprised you don't see D-Boss grabbing ledge more often. I mean, I guess it's probably harder for Kirby to kind of just get to move that quickly, but... Just sort of edge hog and force uh, Hydra to land on stage. Yeah, and I mean, even in situations... The old Falcon tech. <laughs> I mean, even in situations where he, like, can't uh, get back on, back on, on stage, stage at all. Yeah. 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 Um, that's really nice recovery because he, you know, D-Boss sort of does do that there. Yeah. And Hydra's able to go all the way to the platform, so he's not vulnerable. Oof. I barely reached, but that was still a strong hit. <sighs> nice tech. And that's going to kill. D-Boss still holding on, though. Uh, Hydra at high enough percent to get an easy enough kill. He gets a nice back air like that. Uh, that fireball is able to allow him to land that down air, mm -hmm. which basically is the only reason he recovers in that situation. And this is D Boss's last stock. Oh. That's the game, and that's set 3 0 for Hydra.